Welcome to Scaling Sales Development. I'm Rob Simmons. In this episode, we're going to cover the desired attributes when hiring sales development reps. In almost every sales organization, when an SDR excels, they move onward and upward into other positions. And as a result, if you're running a high-performing SDR team, you're constantly going to be looking for the next great addition to your team. An applicant doesn't need a lot of sales experience. According to the Bridge Group, the average work experience of a newly hired SDR in 2020 was just 1.2 years. And in fact, I would argue that an outstanding applicant doesn't need any relevant experience. What I look for in SDRs are individual attributes that my experience has shown to be strong indicators of an ability to excel in the sometimes rough and tumble profession of sales. First, I look for intellectual curiosity. It's not intelligence. You don't have to be a genius to succeed at sales. You do, however, have to be smart enough and eager enough to consistently learn. Think Growth Mindset, which is a great book to read. My belief is that as soon as you stop learning in sales, you're dead. The best SDRs are always asking how and why and expanding their tool set. Secondly, I look for a high degree of character. SDRs excel when they're self-motivated and hold themselves accountable. I don't want reps that I have to micromanage. That isn't me, I want professionals. Third, I want coachability. SDRs come into an organization with a ton to learn about markets, products, buyers, competition, and the whole selling process. I'm gonna be teaching them a lot, and they need to absorb it, and again, be constantly getting better. You don't want people that are uncoachable, doing things their own way all the time. You're gonna end up constantly repeating yourself. Fourth is something I've added actually pretty recently, and that's creativity. Creativity can go a long way in developing a great LinkedIn post or a personalized email that can spur engagement. And as we know, engagement is at the heart of selling activities. Finally, I look for ways in the interviewing process to allow an infectious personality to emerge from this candidate. Selling requires making a strong first impression, often just with the first few seconds of an interaction, and a personality that piques attention and gains engagement is a wonderful asset. Please share your thoughts on the attributes for SDRs in the comments. Additionally, share this video with your network and please consider subscribing. Thanks.